want to welcome you today to the Writer's Anointing Show. I'm your host, Dr. Jewel Williams. And for this month, we're talking about the role of the author coaching. For today's episode, coaching is more than just coaching. Thank you for joining me. Welcome you to today's episode of the Writer's Anointing Show. And I'm talking about coaching. And I know that you might not see coaching and writing, but I want to show you what the Lord showed me through this. So today's tip is coaching is in more than just coaching. So let me give you my first tip. The first tip I have about coaching is a coach assists the athletes. The coach, the coach assists the athletes. Now, what does that really mean? So while a coach helps to assist an athlete to play the game well, the coach actually does more than that. He or she is there to help the athlete to reach his or her full potential. They're responsible for training athletes in, in, a, in a sport by analyzing their performance, instructing in relevant skills, and providing encouragement. So we, we see three things in there. We see by analyzing their performance to see where their strong suits are and where they need some help, giving helping them um, to become more proficient in relevant skills, and then providing encouragement. But you are also, a coach is also responsible for the guidance of the athletes in life and their choice uh, and their chosen sport. So how that relates to a coaching as it relates to writing is, if you are looking for a coach, a mentor, or even somebody that's going to walk with you as an accountability partner, they you should be looking for somebody that's going to help you in those three areas. They're going to assist because you are the athlete athlete, the writer at this point. So we can shift that from assist the athletes to assist the writer. You want to make sure you're finding someone that's going to help you reach your full potential. They're going to be responsible for making sure that uh, they analyze your performance. So help you grow and come stronger in your strong areas, but also willing to challenge you to grow in those lesser areas. But then they're going to also um, provide encouragement. So a good assistant, a good coach is make is not going to make it about them. They're going to make it about you and they're going to coach you well. The second point I want to bring is about coaching is more than coaching is the roles of the coach. So consequently, the role of the coach will be many and varied from instructor to assessor to friend to mentor to facilitator um, in the role of a sports, a chauffeur, a demonstrator, an advisor, a supporter, a fact finder, a motivator, a counselor, an organizer, a planner, and then the fountain in a sense of all knowledge. Now, while this is the role of the athletic coach, it is similar with the writing coach or accountability partner. So while I may not be an actual chauffeur for you as your coach, in a spiritual sense, I'm trying to drive you to a destination God has for you. I'm trying to, to, to get in the driver's seat and help you to go to that place that God wants you to go in your writing. And whatever that looks like and however that manifests, that's how I want to show up. So as a friend, as a mentor, as a facilitator, I'm going to do that. And that is what you need to look for in anybody Body that you want coaching you, mentoring you, or even partnering with you. And then the third point is coaches create conditions. Coaches create conditions. So it relates to sports. The role of the coach is to create the right conditions for learning to happen and to find ways of motivating the athlete. Most athletes are highly motivated and therefore the task is to maintain that motivation and to generate excitement and, and enthusiasm. So as an author coach, it's our responsibility, it's my responsibility or whoever you um, partner with to help you learn to create the best conditions for your writing. Not only in the natural, but to help you tap into the right conditions within you to write what God wants written. And so that may mean helping you, walking through with you, 
through as you even heal through your writing process. So the coach is there to help you be not afraid of going into some deep places to uncover some things that maybe you didn't even want to uncover, but they need to be uncovered so that you can present the best um, written book product that you're doing. So, so today's tips again uh, uh, about coaching being more than coach. It is that a coach, a good coach, mentor, a good person is walking with you in your writing is going to assist you, the writer, to make sure that you reach your full potential. That they analyze, help you to learn how to analyze your performance, so you can know where your skills are and how to get better. And then they're going to provide encouragement. That they they have um. Those roles that they perform as a coach are many. They're friend, mentor, assessor, demonstrator, advisor, supporter, fact finder, motivator, counselor, and so on. But this is the thing. In nowhere does it say anything about this being so that the coach could benefit. It's for you, the writer, to benefit. And then finally is coaches create conditions. As coaches, mentors, friends that are helping you, you need somebody that's going to invest in you, help you so that the best you comes forward. Do you need help writing your book? You're not sure where to start. I would love to help you from the concept to the completion of your project. And if you want more information, you go to my website, publishdivision.com. That's publishdivision.com. And you can see what I offer. And as I always say, until the next time we come back together, just keep, keep on and write it. God bless you until next time.